Welcome everybody to another episode of Greeting Mashiach. In the spirit of um, having conversations that we're trying to promote um, as as our input to greeting to the concept of Kabbalah's Pani Mashiach Tzadkenu, um, we have with us a special guest, Levi Goldstein from Iowa, and um, we're going to get a not only another, you know, fresh fresh eyes and fresh voice on the topic, but we're also going to get a different perspective on certain things. And um, yeah, you know, take it away, Rabbi Goldstein. Yes, it's a, it's great great being being here. And the the, the reason why I'm, I'm on here is because I have this tremendous passion for Mashiach. I know every every yid has has a passion for Mashiach. Because there's a Mrs. Mashiach in, in every yid, but somehow maybe it's it's my siblings that that tell me you know you're 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 you're, you're off by by talking to Mashiach or, or they they tell me Mashiach should come just just to make you ha- ha- happy. So uh, just trying to uh, bring a little, a little bit here about the the the, the concept of the uh, Mashiach, and especially you know there there's a whole discussion going on. It, it, it came to the sikh of Chai Sarat Tavshin and Beis, and the Rebbe said the whole the whole Ikar Shlech is to to be Makabel, Nei Mashiach Tzedkenu, and everything goes through that that shar. So I want I want to share share, share share with you some uh, some ideas that that I feel are, are things that are are actual that, that that are real and actual to be Makabel Pnei Mashiach Tzedkenu, and that is we find in the sikhs, especially in the, in the later sikhs of. Uh, and on base, that uh, the stakes, the Rebbe put the stakes very, very high. That means the the, the demands that the that 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 the Rebbe demands from us is if if you uh, just think about it for a moment, it's pretty pretty high. I'm talking about machshava dibur umaisa. That's a that's a thing that the Rebbe speaks about a lot. Uh, just think about it. Every single machshava in in your mind. Has to be pure, positive. Every ma'aseh that you do <laughs> needs to be in accordance to Allah, in accordance to Chassidishkeit, and uh, Iber, Every 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 word you shouldn't uh, say a, a not not nice word about someone to to someone. <laughs> it's it's a lot. It's, it's sometimes it, it could it could feel very uh, d- demanding, but if you chazer and you fabring and you you talk talk about it, we realize that this actually could be done so uh, let's uh, f- f- bring bring about it so obviously a lot of people have a talk about mashiach you know uh as you can probably tell i was born uh, a number of years after gimel tamos and yet we try to keep the flame going but you have this special uh at least i guess 30 years ago wasn't so special but now it's more special that you were uh actually um uh, there at the time when the Rebbe spoke about all these things, so maybe you could tell us a little bit what it was like in the years of uh, Nunalif, Nunbeis, and I guess then afterwards Nungimel and Dalit, but I guess one step at a time, what it was like to hear uh, the experience of hearing these sikhs as they were happening. Uh, what was the impression of the Chassidim then? What was your impression? Yeah, so uh, a few few things. First of all, I'm 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 going to give away my age that I, I was 15 years old by Gimel Gimel, Gimel Thomas. Uh, it's 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 a young age, and it was I wasn't like really fully developed. I remember my brother was uh, 19, yeah, because he's three years older than me. No, he was he was 18, uh, almost 19. And he was there, Bishas Masi. He was in Ali Torah, and he would run to seven seventy with no N- N- gimel, and he would uh, update us. This is going on. That 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 that's happening. But to me, as as a young kid, I I didn't really grasp what was going on. But uh, I'll, I'll, if I might interject, I'll, I'll, there yeah. is a certain uh, there's one mile for somebody who's older and appreciated the deep significance of things, or might have understood the sikhs more intimately at the time. But there's also, I think, a mile to somebody who was like uh, was your age at the time, who might have caught a lot of the arum, without hopping the particulars, could cheer over what was the vibe. The vibe, probably, I would assume, you still of what was going on. That probably you, uh, even at a young age, one can get that. Uh, maybe you'll tell me. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I have I have this memory of uh, so we we uh, so, uh, oh, so that that was first point. That was young, and second of all. 
My parents, Zoldang, Zul, they are Shluch uh, Rebbe in Ann Arbor, Michigan. So the only times I really came to the Rebbe was we were coming up now to uh, Shavuos. Shavuos was almost the quiet, quietest time of the year where there's not much going on. And that was the opportunity that my father says, let's let's take take the family to the Rebbe once once a year. And our, our bubbies and Zaydis also, they, 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 they both live there. So it was, it was just one big... Uh, ap- opportunity. So one thing that stands out is the Shavuos Tavshin Nun Beis. So Chavzai and other happened that year. So that's uh, the other Aleph. So you had the other Beis. So the other Nisan year. So about three, three, three and a half months. Nobody saw the Rebbe. The, 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 the Rebbe fell by, by the oil. Was 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 to, taken to his holy room. And that's it. The Chavzai didn't see the Rebbe. So it came Shavuos I think it was by Talucha, which would be the first day of Shavuos, in the evening, tor, tor, towards the evening, so everybody went on Talucha. And I can't remember if it was before Talucha or, or after Talucha. You could probably look, look it up in all the morning. So that was the first, first time that the Rebbe came, came out. This is before any porch, before any room. For, uh, uh, I don't know how many people know about this or don't know about it, so I'm going to say it anyways. There is no porch yet. There was no room because this is three months, and I believe the, the 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 room before the porch was made. There was a room that was both, I think, Reish Hashanah, Tavshin Nun Gimel, if I re, if I remember correctly. So this is Shavuos Tavshin Nun Beis. So the the Rebbe was in his room, and I don't know exactly the details. The Rebbe told Rabbi Groner that he he went wants to go go out. I think they had to carry the the Rebbe on a chair. The disappointing part of it was that I didn't get to see the Rebbe, but you asked me about, about the vibe. Oh, I, I, I remember the vibe people... Uh, oh, so this was the front entrance of uh, 770. The main main entrance over there by the two two gates, by the steps. I remember the gates were, were all bent out of shape. It just, uh, but, uh, but I remember coming back to which, my which house. Which gates? The two gates of uh, the leading up to the building of the 770. Gates on, the gates on the lawn. By the lawn, yeah. Oh. So the Rebbe came out in the that that front entrance, and, seemed, and the Rebbe just sat over there on on a chair, and people were just singing and jumping up and trying 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 to get a view. And I when I was <laughs> was uh, I was thirteen then, so I was <laughs> a, a young buckle that couldn't really really see see anything, but. Like you said before, the vibe. I, I definitely felt, felt the vibe and the excitement. And uh, it's it's just a little bit of, aim of the excitement that we're going to have very, very soon. When, uh, as as you have, I think it was you, uh, who was the Dorman? It was Rabbi Wolf. I was listening to the, the Wolf was saying uh, how the Rebbe describes how is he going to come. Boom. Like the, the Rebbe is just going to open the door and we're going to see him. I remember coming back to my Bob, 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 Bobby's and Zadie's house, and like, they were so excited. It was a, such an excitement, like, wow, well, finally we got, got to see the, the Rebbe. But the, the real question is, so, well, what am I taking from, from all that? <laughs> Again, going back to what I said before, Machshava, Dibur, and Maisa, I think that's what it all boils down to. There's a, another Nikuda that, that, I, that I want to bring about. I don't know if I should jump into it now. I'll just bring it up now. This whole uh, the title of calling people the, the this this term uh, anti or 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 mishachist, that's something that has to be blotted out because it's causing a lot of separation. So I'm putting it out there. Either we can start discussing it now, or we could first finish up this the uh, machshava di Um So the, with, with regards to the machshava di I think. I think it's actually very, very interesting because there. I think I think this is this applies to every single part of 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 shlichus and everything that the Rebbe laid out. There's always aspects. There there was always parts of it that that included the machshava, the dibur, and the ma'ase. Um I think what a lot of people, especially with things that that have that ha- had enough had enough time to to really flesh out. People became comfortable with all the parts that the Rebbe, all all the things, all the mitzvahim that the Rebbe put out. Right now, we're all we're all comfortable with it. Say the machshava, say the dibra, and say the maaseh. 
because we had enough time to really understand what we were doing and really really get into the into the mode. For example, Mifsitzfilin, I think, is is obviously the biggest. Um, that that's one thing that literally every single person in the world knows about Chabad is oh yeah they go around putting on tefillin on Jews. I think that 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 was one of the biggest things that in the beginning there was there was you know a lot of a lot of um, uncertainty. People weren't so you know so excited to go. There were chassidim that were you know obviously the Rebbe says we have to go put on tefillin on people so let's do it. But there was less of of a, of, of excitement, and once it was brought out and and fleshed out into all parts of it, machshava, the dibra, and the Maise, when when the Rebbe started answering questions and when Mashpim started fabricating about, it, it became like you know now now we're comfortable because we have all we have all three steps. We have we figured out the machshava, we figured out the dibra, and we figured out the Maise. We figured out the I know uh, totals like like um, the vart of totals is trying to put everything into vertlach, trying to put words to everything. So I think I think one thing that has to do that 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 the the Mifta Mashiach quote unquote hasn't yet figured out is the how to flesh it out to have complete machshava dibur and Maisa. Because we know we know the dibur, we know the Maisa pretty much. Right? The Dibur is 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 the Yechi by, by, by the Rebbe and then the Maisa is practically uh, signing and all that stuff. But there but there's a big and, and I know this from from talking to some Bachrim that when you're in a when you're a bacher, everything's about avoda. So the question is like, what's the big avoda? Like, we need it needs to be a big avoda. So therefore, you know, it's very hard to to really um, fully, you know, jump into the whole Mashiach topic because there's not so much avoda really. It's it's really much. It's really about going on to the next step, which is less about you and it's more about the klal. It's more about the the, the world and it's more about the general. Um, uh, Am Yisrael and Eretz Yisrael and, and all that stuff. So, so I think one thing that that needs to be done really is how to bring out from the Mifsa Mashiach to bring it into Machshava, to bring it into Dibur, and to bring it into Maisa. I think it's interesting that that uh, an interesting Nikoda that I've um, so stand thinking about. Levi, so I think you're talking about two different things. You know, you'll tell me. So I guess Levi P, Levi G. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I think Levi, what you, uh, Palachenko, what you're talking about is the Mashava de Maisa of the Mashiach campaign itself. Whereas I think Levi Goldstein, you're talking more about the Machadar Yisrael. The, the, in general, part of the Mashiach campaign is the intense focus on the entire living a Torah Yid, Al Pishchanarach, and Mashava de Maisa to do what wants. That if Mashiach is really taking us out of Golas. The shortest, the most obvious way that we need to prepare for that is in our own lives, taking it seriously. By uh, the whole point of, of Mashiach is he's going to make us famous the Torah and Mitzvahs, so that we need to keep uh, our Torah and Mitzvahs ourselves properly in Machshavah Dibur Amaisus. So correct me if I got that uh, elaborate. Yeah, in the English, both are beautiful. Yeah, so these are the two points I, that I uh, it sounds like we're discussing over here. Two aspects of the Machshavah Dibur Amaisus. Yeah, well, it all starts with like the, the Rebbe says in the, the, the famous Sikha that through learning in Yanni Gomashir, that's, that's really the key. It's interesting if I, if I could point out learning because uh, people speak about, and I'll mention it today, in, 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 in the English uh, mostly, Rabbi Katlarski, you know, he says, uh, I, I, won't, I won't say from him, but he described that after some some Chastera, after a coffee, he he peeked into the to the Rebbe's room to through the blinds or something, and he saw the Rebbe sitting and learn, learning. Yeah. And there's another Maisa from Tavshin and Bays. I don't know who I heard it from. But recently, a person came to get a sitter, and he saw the Rebbe sitting on a folding chair, without his hat or 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 sirtuk, just sitting and learning. So by by the Rebbe, really, if you think about it, everything is through through Torah. You have this big the big myths of of Mashiach, and the Rebbe says, well, it has to go through Torah. And once you have the Torah, it gets like you're saying to the to the mind and And once you have that activated, then everything else in your life, like like I said before, all your machshavas, all your divar, and all your ma'isim, um, are all encompassed and in sync with the Ebrister. Yeah. So I was uh, sp- speaking to uh, to, to someone, and I was I was a little bit surprised that he he brought it up so strongly. He says that we 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 can't call anyone Mr. Chist. It's it's just uh, 
and dam damaging for well first of all like like I said before, every year that has a, has a mitzvah mashiach shem 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 So really, every, every year there's, there's a mashiach. Someone was telling you that you can't. You, nobody should be called a mashiach. Yeah, because it, it it just causes it period. Because the moment you say mashiach, well then 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 not invite there to anti. be to be an. I would think if we should get rid of one of them, it should be the ones who are anti anti. Everyone should just be whatever you want to say mashiach means. Everyone yeah. should be into mashiach. I I would think. <laughs> So, so in the ideal deal world, yeah, and uh, it w it was at a Shabbos table, and somebody else was arguing and saying no. Mishachist is like is is like a proud thing that like you're proud that I'm I'm a Mishachist, I'm all far 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 the Mashiach. But the the vibe that that your your typical person gets is, I could say personally too, it, it just it makes me very very. It becomes a it's a, a, as, a, as if it's a apathy. political party. Yeah, it's it's it just as a whole echo the kite to this beautiful um, mifta of of Mashiach. I don't know if it's practical to. Uh, so I, yeah, I how would you recommend? Uh, it, what what's your so vision maybe, maybe of how definitely. how it? Uh, I guess how how would you get rid of the party lines, and uh, how would you? How do you, Yeah, and what, what, what would, would that look like, with? and how would you implement it? If it was up to you. Uh, just uh, plain uh, chassid. Um, so we should just be chassidim. <laughs> we should be chassidim of the rabbi. Yeah, even uh, but, you know, there's 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 a song from Shim 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 Shimka Lazarev. Uh, I know he has like a few songs that he made. We uh, put together a bit of learn. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a song. So it it went from I think Cain Shlichas Cain Malnish Talent. So I think he either either he amended it, or or Lechatchila he made it that it should go both, that it shouldn't be exclusively for Shluchim. It should be a Cain Chasid is Cain Malnish Talent. No Chasid is ever alone. Uh, Not only no Shliach no Chasid is ever yeah, alone. So, so it's kind of uh, I'm just trying to borrow uh, a Marshall. Shluchim and Chassidim is not as politically charged as uh, Mishachist and Anti. So when you say Shluchim, yeah, then there's the whole thing, well, uh, every every year there's, there's a Shluch, and then it becomes the whole back and forth, well, he's a fish of Shluch, he's, he's not a fish of Shluch, and it becomes the whole thing. So so there too, we should try just keep keeping it across the board. Well, we are ch 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 near the Rebbe, this we mentioned on our previous episodes when you were going through the Sikha of Chayisara, um, we, 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 the Rebbe actually there goes kind of in a little bit more detail explaining the difference. And in the Rebbe's version of the Zicha, or the Rebbe's version of reality, everything and everyone is a Shliach. Hashem is a Shliach, Atmos is a Shliach, Mashiach is a Shliach, all the Yidin are Shluchim. But the, the, then the Rebbe goes more particular, aside from all of the Yidin being Shluchim, um, the Rebbe specifies that there are those who their entire job um, Bigashmi is as well, uh, in a very literal sense, is to be a shliach uh, ex ex exclusively. They have this chos that that's exclusively yeah. their their tafkid. So that that's the way the Rebbe, so to speak, puts the difference. But indeed, in reality, each and every uh, er, the Rebbe says, yeah, it, every year there's a. Uh, what I found very interesting, and I mentioned this previously, the Rebbe says there that not only that every year there's a shliach of Hashem, but every year, every year there's a shliach of the nasi adar. And that I found very interesting because there's a lot of yid and you might think they don't really have much of a shaykhist, uh, let alone be a shliach of the Nasi Adar. And here you have the Rebbe saying, no, every yid is a shliach of the Nasi is an emissary of the Nasi Adar. Yeah, because uh, han Hanasi who... Hanasi who are kind at the end of the day. And then, and then, was, and then and they, it reminds me of Purim Tavshim Amzayin. They ever said they went from the Nasi to the to the, to the curl, yeah. They were made very clear to Hanoshim, Hanoshim Vatav, every yid. Has responsibility to to bring Mashiach. Uh, yeah, so uh, you know, growing up, I I I went to the Detroit yeshiva. So I don't know if this uh, this thing about titles Mashiachist came from that. I went through the whole system of Detroit, and yeah, I I followed it to 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 Miami, and all along I felt there's something wrong here. This is absolutely does. and uh, calling you know he's a Mashiachist. Uh, this it's like. Um, it's very telling that the last tzicha we have from the Rebbe, we heard the Leis Ata, 
from Vayakel Tav Shunim Beis is the theme of uh, Vayakel put together, the theme of Achdus, um, Achdus and Kibbutz Goliath, that this idea that Chassidim should be Ba'achdus, they should be together, united, and uh, what obviously followed the past 30 years, I don't know what to call it, but certainly we are, we're, we're very much in need of, of, uh, of Achdus. Um, there's a mimer from the Alta Rebbe in Parshas Noyach about the Dara Flaga, the Kutu Teira, or Teira, as it were. And he says, the Pasuk tells us that, uh, you know, they're building this tower and they're not going to be able to, uh, Hashem doesn't know what to do about it. It's the Yosmu Lasses, this plan they're making. And the opposite, I understand. There's the Abish that we're talking about. What does that mean that he's not going to be able to stop them? He's not going to be able to stop their plan? Like, what? Why? Is, is the, so, call, uh, yes. so, yeah. It doesn't, doesn't even clap. Like, what, what, what's the Pazik saying? And the Altarab explains that they knew the secrets of the way uh, the way the spheres work and the way the elements work. And they knew that Achtos is the key. They wanted to get from Atsilos. And to get from Atsilos, this high spiritual world, that's the good stuff. Normally, you gotta, you got to be a good boy to get for the good stuff. You know, they didn't want to be good boys, but they wanted the good stuff anyways. And they knew a cheat sheet is when you're Ba'achtos, even if you're being Ba'achtos to go against the Ebersh there, you're going to get the good stuff. That's the, way, that's the key. The key is Ba'achtos. Even bad Ba'achtos, uh, so to speak. And that's why the Ebersh is only recourse, obviously within the system the Ebersh created, is is uh, was to mess up their actors, and that's what Abishta did. He dispersed them, changed their languages, yeah. and put them across the world. Um, you see, that's about a negative thing. Could you only imagine the actors of Ishchidim about doing the right thing, following the Rabbi, bringing Mashiach? Um, not that I'm saying that anyone should give up on their true on the true things and the and be false, but whenever possible, to have a, the Ava and Achva of is is so so important. Or you also have from the, the was it Samach Tzedek? And he asked him, uh, what do you, when you, why aren't you scared of getting arrested? And with the government, what are you doing? You know, what's going to be with the Chassidim? So the, uh, see, one thing he mentioned was his son. And the other thing he mentioned, if I remember correctly, was the Achtos for Chassidim, that's the Beistein. That the, this Mashiach. This So uh, we're certainly in this situation now when we're very much in need of this Achtos for Chassidim to, uh, Help us get through the yeah. dark period. So if if I may uh, offer a pr- practical tip, I was listening to a p- parent parenting uh, podcast. The person was was speaking all all about when uh, when when a child has a tantrum, he 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 doesn't want to go to sleep. He does doesn't want to uh, brush his teeth. So you could go to him and, and command, no, you have to, and then and then it never ends. So his technique was that you it's called mir- mirroring. You mirror the child, that you mamish repeat back to the child that same feeling. But he says you have to be gen- genuine. You, you, you can't take it. Wait. You have to really put yourself in, in, in the child's mind. I could see you don't want to brush, brush your teeth. Yeah, it's annoying. It takes time. You have to put the, the, the toothpaste on it. So if we could adapt that to a hearing out each, each, each other, whether it's... A, not not Yichir, right? Writing different titles on the Rebbe, repeating back to the person what he said. He says that it, it, it's supposed to do the ma- ma- magic. So you'll uh, uh, the, the parent, you guys both, uh, yeah, who have children, you'll, you'll let me know how the, how that works out. The uh, little difference here to remember, right? That it's very important to right. This shows the other person when you repeat back to them. You also show that you understand what they're saying. That you're not arguing and having yeah. a discussion about two different things. You see, oh yeah, I I, I understand what you're saying, and the person exactly. feels vindicated yeah. that, that you you understand their point. But it doesn't mean you have to agree with their point. You have to understand their point, yeah. um, and that way you can have very productive, um, helpful conversations instead of going in circles when uh, um, two people are discussing two different things. You're not even ha- you're not even having the same discussion. You're arguing with a person who's not there. So when you verify with the person saying that you understand their perspective, and then you can actually be able to share uh, to share ideas. And uh, I, I heard this from uh, I don't know if a lot of talk about such things, but uh, this uh, is a yid, so maybe it's okay. Um, uh, Dennis Prager, so he talks about politics often and about Terra. But I'm not recommending anybody listen to uh, anything outside of Terra. But uh, he says that he often finds the debates the thing that's most helpful for him instead of debating. 
is just to clarify where everyone stands on things. He tells what? Just let me clarify. This is my position. Cla let's clarify your position. A and that often does most of the work. Instead of spending so much time fighting with each other, just to clarify each person's wh where do you stand on something in a very you know, not not confrontational manner, in and of itself already does uh, already does wonders. Yeah, like like uh, I'm I'm mentioned before uh, that <laughs> uh, I I went went through the the, the, the system of, of Detroit, but uh, I give a lot of credit to to my father's also Gesundheit uh, Tati. If if you're watching this, hello. Uh, my 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 father. Make, maybe you, you could get him on. That he's a he's a very special person. He uh, he he has the diff different views than me about, about Mashiach. But he has the amazing thing that he could have a conversation with with anyone. His his be best friends are okay. I'm I'm not going to use the M M word. <laughs> but uh, he could have a conversation, a calm conversation, even though can chayk mizrach me. Might have the way he understands uh, uh, from, from, from Yichi, but the guy that he's talking to is somebody that he he grew 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 grew, grew up with. They they they, they learned Arabic together. So like, how could you uh, fight 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 with with such such a person? So that's a, a, the element of calmness, to just to to stay calm when when you have uh, these ar arguments. So I mentioned it before, Yonigal Mashiach is the the key. Uh, Tutal has the whole thing about the mind mindset, Mashiach mindset. Mashiach mindset, yeah. Uh, so, uh, so, some somebody uh, mentioned on a group that I was on. Uh, I want to say three, 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 four years ago. He said learning young Mashiach is even more important than uh, Ramam, and it hit Ooh. me. He says, "I, I, 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 I oh, okay." Should, should Rambam I mention his isn't name? Mashiach <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh, who, who, uh, 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 um, no, so it, I thought to myself, you know, three, it's three, three, or whoever does one, it's, we know it's Chaik Velay I don't want to look as a big shot. I know a lot of Hasidim, they don't go to sleep till they finish the, the, the Ramam. But the Kumti Yanigal Mashiach, Litzari, many, many days go by, I just push it, don't, 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 don't learn. Uh, now you want to say uh, that many parts of the, of the Torah speak about Yonagul Mashiach, yeah, but I'm talking about that if you that you make a seder to say, okay, I'm going to learn now Yonagul Mashiach. How how do we get into it, that into our mind to have almost the same Important. standard as Rambam? Yeah, Baruch Hashem, we have on our WhatsApp chat the uh, Living Gula, whatever it's called. Uh... What's up, chat? Mela, yeah, we have uh, five, five members, not five yeah. minutes doesn't go by when there's a discussion of and another thing, obviously, is uh, Rabbi Reuven Wolf has his WhatsApp chat where uh, he started last year the Mashiach Suda, to bring the light of Mashiach into every single day that he that he uh, he started going through all the Maimarim of Achron Shopeshach, which all discuss Mashiach. Not every day, obviously, discusses Mashiach, but the whole Mimer is, is there to figure out and discuss the Gilim mm -hmm. of Lars Lovely. And he's a, he's a, he's a, I think up to Tavshin Tazai now, five minutes every day on WhatsApp. Um, Chayk Valiyah, he started now doing even Mitzay Shabbos. Five minutes every day, not to miss a day. Just a, just a vo voice note or, or, or something? It's a voice note, you can put it's it on times two. It's a voice note, and he goes through the mimer, little by little. You can go through, uh, you can go, Maybe I should do you that. Can, you, you go through them, so not every day is about Mashiach, it's about whatever the mimer is about, but the whole mimer... When you're finished, it's about uh, it's about Mashiach. So I mentioned before about my up upbringing in in Detroit, but I I need to make a this this disclaimer. I was in Zal, uh, yeah, I think it was Shir Al of Zal. Somebody had a soldiers to learn Yoni Gol and Mashiach, and I remember it was Friday night in the in the early in the winter, the early winter Shabbosim. Where they the the Bachrim got together in in Detroit in the Zal and learned Yonigal Mashiach and I remember one of the times they invited Rabbi Ber Beryl Shemtiv and I remember I can, I even remember what it was about we learned the Purim Tavshim Zayin so that's that's another very important thing to to like just blankly you know cancel out oh Detroit is is this and this and that uh, love love Davke yeah you see you know, uh, everyone are people who talk to Mashiach. 
Oh yeah, so like 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 I said before, it's chesedim across the board. Yeah. Now then, the next thing we have to work on is the, as the ganze Welt, all all chugim of of, of Yidden. I, I hate when people say, "Oh, Mashiach right away they associated with 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 the uh, Chabad." This is a Chabad thing, and they they kach Mashiach. But really, the Rebbe wants every single Yid involved in in Mashiach. So somehow, you have to remove this. Uh, I don't know if if stigma is is the the right word. But uh, and, and you know, in certain ways, it it is picking up steam. You know, uh, let, we see, we're finally talking a lot of chugim today. They they are speaking openly about the topic of uh, Mashiach. But uh, it could use uh, some some some, some, the some more help. Certainly, yeah. compared to what it was years ago, today for sure, in the Welt, everyone's talking much more about Mashiach. Everyone's talking about Mashiach. Um, right, forty years ago. It was very much a Chabad, uh, pretty much under Chabad jurisdiction, Mashiach, uh, you know, TM, Chabad. Um, yeah. but, uh, but certainly today, uh, it's very much, much more than, I mean, I wasn't around there, but much more than before, I would say, is, is uh, you see in the Velt, a normalization of talking and, and caring about Mashiach. I think it would also it would also not just be just a normalization, but also an excitement of the, of the uh, imminence. Of it, of it happening. Yeah. You know, I know as soon as something very, very fascinating that happened after October seventh was that there, there was a felt of like, you know, that it's got to happen. It's got to ha- not only it's got to happen, but they feel that it's happening soon, which is, which is actually a very interesting feeling. That I, I, I remember um, talking talking about this with someone about how in Tuf, in Tufshin and Bays, in Tufshin and Alf, Tufshin and Bays. The imminence was felt, but it came from the Rebbe. Like the Rebbe gave us the the feeling of the imminence, right? The, starting from the Friedrich Rebbe already, Lata Lutrub, Lata Geula. It wasn't really something that there was world happenings and it was like, okay, how do we understand this? Blah, blah, blah. And then, and then we came to ourselves, oh, it must be that we're feeling the birth pangs of Mashiach and all that stuff. It was more that it came from the Rebbeim. It came from the Friedrich Rebbe, it came from the Rebbe, talking about how uh, the, the war that was happening. I remember uh, um, the episode that we had with the Feldmans. They were saying, she, um, Miriam Feldman was saying how the news yeah, was yeah, different. Was, the yeah. news, the, the perspective from Crown Heights was such a hopeful, such a exciting perspective yeah, she, to the she, war. She, uh... Supposed that with uh, with the way they were hearing it from the from, from the TV Correct. or the, the radio, yeah. and, yeah. and I think I think a, a big and and this is I think and not only the Amim, but also on the Yidin that it caused it gave us the ability to by ourselves look at the world, look what's happening, and be like. Okay, it must be that this is this is Mashiach. This is the energy of the Geula. This is the energy. This is Al Safa Adalas. This is this is the we're at the doorstep. We're so close. These are the, the, this is already you know connecting it to the to the to the to the Yudim to the prophecies to the testimonies of of what's going to happen before Mashiach comes. I think I think it's something that the Rebbe laid planted the seed. And and we're seeing right now we're seeing the, the sadly it took took thirty years but Baruch Hashem we're, right now we're seeing the 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 sprouting of the trees not only the trees but also the fruit we're seeing the all the the effect that that Melech HaMashiach is having without having without needing the Rebbe to be there and pointing pointing it out rather we are the ones and I think and I think this is what the Rebbe was was saying open up your eyes to realize to recognize that. The goal is in the world, and that's what we're doing right now. What we're doing is, and sadly, uh, I think uh, it's 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 lacking in Lubavitch, which you would think it's the other way around. The Lubavitch being known as as the Mashiach drivers, you know, the Kaching Mashiach. Right now, what we're seeing is a, a sort of uh, um, a switch where everybody else, everybody else is Kaching and seeing the Geula in the world, seeing the effect of Mashiach. And um, we're still oh, we're still discussing if if, if to be mafarsim, if not to be mafarsim. We're we're still trying to figure it out. But I think I think that's why you need, uh, you know, we we need a little push. And um, hopefully uh, this is going to be the last push, and we're going to open our eyes and get the world ready 
and not, yeah. not have to get the world ready because we're all going to be at that point of greeting Mashiach. Just to give an example of one of the ways we see how it, things changed a lot with regards to Mashiach since what was before to now, you have Sikhs of Darabi discussing why you're allowed to ask for Mashiach, you know, how it's not kfira to add to the match the neighbors that it brings Mashiach and thereby starts to give proof from from Chida, was it? And 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 from from Shmuel Esrei that you see in Shmuel Esrei that we asked for Mashiach uh, and Kilo uh, trying to defend the very notion of asking the Abish to send Mashiach instead of just letting him do it on his own time, and you don't even find that notion anymore in the world. It's so accepted that uh, we want Mashiach now. Uh, we're asked for Mashiach. That's such a normal. That's such a normal thing these days. I, I saw a picture of the Lag like, Bemei Parade in in Borough Park, and the, they have this Adat Kup Mashiach and Mishtet of the Shvel from Gula signs. You know, it was very cute. Oh. These kids walking. Uh... With with, with the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is, uh, I think, uh, you tell you tell a regular person. You know, people used to say you can't ask for Mashiach. I don't even think that most people would would, would be familiar with such arguments. It's it's become normal. It's become accepted, of course. Of course you want Mashiach. There's still some stigma, yeah, so you, to speak, you, you, the Chabad you, you, is, is into Mashiach, but uh, on the whole, we're making, I think, a lot of improvement on that front. Yes, uh, I was pointing out to my brother, uh, yeah, the, the, not just Mashiach, there's so many things that the Rebbe be moaned mom, 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 about. One of them was uh, about the ch- children taking pride in their accomplishments in school, and that it was bemoaning the fact that, that the whole kach is uh, their sports and all and all, all that stuff. But uh, when when he when he has a stream on chumash, he he barely gets attention. But I was telling my brother, look, look what look happens today. T- today look at the chidon and the chumash party, siddur party. It mamish turned thing 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 down its head. If anything, we went overboard. We went all, all the way uh, all the way overboard. Yeah, okay. The the other side. Yeah. I heard a complaint. Um, I heard, yeah, I talk in the English program. They don't respect the English teachers. <laughs> they, they don't, uh, that, does, that was Deb's complaint. But the English thing, that's, uh, if he gets a degree and a da, that's the most important, uh, <laughs> the most important thing. But uh, here you see that people don't care about English in schools where they have English. It's not, it's not respected. And it's not, uh, and Dafka, the, the Kaddish teachers, I heard someone was moaning. Why is it you only respect the Kaddish teachers? They don't respect the English program. They don't respect the English teachers. Um, I was like, <laughs> yeah, it's interesting that you're saying that suddenly the the it used to be Lubavitch is far kafta Mashiach, and now that there's there's this tone tone down. There's there's also been a toning down in demanding Mashiach. Uh, some something that uh, irks me all 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 the time. Where you you read about Yitzias Mitzrayim, that's Vayizoku Vatal Shavasam El El Hashem. The Yidin were actively demanding and demanding and demanding. And today, in 2024, I'm sorry, people are just way too too comfortable with life, way too too much on their phones. There needs to be this vayizaku, and not, not just chas v'shalom, every time this is, this is something ne- negative happens in the world. There needs to be a vayizaku, <laughs> we have to demand it from Hashem. Not, not to be complacent. Yeah, and that obviously so we saw by the Rebbe Chav and more, uh, more so, more famously at least than any other time. The Rebbe's raw pain and frustration at every single second in Golas is Rech Badir that we could be, you know, t- t- tomorrow in Golas and Ibn Morgan. Every second of Golas, the Rebbe's like, I'm not, I'm not okay with it, and, and you shouldn't be either. Yeah. It's un, it's unnatural for a yid to be in Golas. That's what the uh, that's what we need to remember. I, I, I just, I, the past two days, the Sikha Yemis, which I highly recommend everyone listen to, uh, you you have every day 10 minutes, uh, you know, which is a, an actual amount of time you can have, uh, and sometimes like they have the past two days, a Hemshech, so you can get a longer Sikha. And, and to really, uh, you know, if you want to know how the Rebbe thinks, um, I would highly, or general, stop listen to the Rebbe, it's very geschmack. So the past two days, it's from Yobes Thomas Chav Zayin. I think of his times. Uh, yeah, talk- yeah. It's a hint from yesterday. Yeah, from yesterday. And, and the Rebbe is discussing what we can learn from the lesson, what happened after the Six Day War. And the Rebbe says, you know, people come with Tainus. What's with this? Amat Paziza. What's with this? This rash people. You, the Nasakaid and Lenishma. 
that you, you say will do before what do you mean you have to understand you have to you have to uh, and also what are you telling me you put on fill in the ever says uh, mind your own business mind your own business says the ever in English don't tell everyone what to do and the ever learns an amazing lesson from the army from the draft that as soon as people realize and this is the key says the ever that you're needed as soon as people realize I I matter I make a difference I'm not just another cog in the machine my contributions are necessary they got a draft letter. All they wanted to know was the time and place, and they were there. They didn't ask any questions. Needed, that's, that's and even cool. if they had a million questions that they had in the commander, they know the only way for this to work is to follow the commander. Even if they know, they, uh, they'll find about it after the war. They'll figure out if he was right or wrong. The only way you fight a war is you listen to the commander. Ah, you're smarter than him, and, and he's a... It doesn't matter. This is the system. And everyone says that, but you yourself understand this. You got the letter. You know what I'm talking about, says the Rebbe. And yeah. no one says, oh, my personal life. No, yeah, everyone knows you're listening is important for, for, for the call for everyone. All these questions fade away. And here I, I was thinking it's an amazing, so to speak, the Ufaf and the Egen. The Rebbe showing us how do you open your eyes. The Rebbe takes an example about something, about, you know, within the paradigm of Yiddishkeit, you have so many questions. How is it? And Golos, Tos, Jens. And the Rebbe says, what Golos? What are there? It's, what gates are harder? What are you talking about? It's clear, it's understood, there's no problems, you open your, and the episode so to speak, you, you, to try to, op, a clear example of opening your eyes to see the reality of, in this world, everyone could not have a Yetzirah, and everyone could listen to the Ebersheit, and have Nasa and the Nishma, it, th that reality already exists in the world, we're just making up problems in our head. As soon as you see, you realize, oh, it's true, all you need is to realize that you matter, realize that your contribution, like the Rebbe's, Constant refrain, one of the things that I've quoted so many times, the famous Rambam, that one mitzvah can tip the scale, that everyone, every one individual's mitzvah is so uh, important and integral, uh, and that was really the cry of Chav Ches Nisan, that you should take this personally, this should matter to you on a personal level, that I need to bring the Geula, or, or the way that I've put it in Chai Sara, Tavshuna Beis, that not that you're going to uh, wait for it to happen and you'll enjoy it when it comes. But you do call a talibach, everything that's dependent on you, to actively pursue it and make it happen. And uh, that ties in with the whole that you were saying in the beginning, the machshav If indeed, you, you're, it, this is a, something that you're going to take seriously because it matters and it's up to us. We have to be machal p'nei mashiach to And when we do that, like you mentioned, by obviously uh, one of the main things is that is if that's for real, we're going to start keeping Tere Mitzvah properly and learning about Nyan Mashiach Gula. If you realize that you could do that, as soon as you realize it matters, it becomes so much easier. I saw today a minor from the Rebbe when someone tells him he's having difficulty uh, overcoming his challenges from the, he needs strength to overcome the Yitzhara. And the Rebbe says, you don't need strength. You need to stop falling prey to your um, amazing weakness, which might sound uh, a bit harsh. But it's really, uh, again, that was opening your eyes. Like, you're imagining this whole mountain, the Yitzhahara, that was, no, no, no. it's all fake news. <laughs> There's no big Yitzhahara there. As soon as you realize you have the power, you have the ability to climb out of whatever, you know, everyone's stuck in this gullish perspective, it's, you can snap your fingers and, and, and you can do it. This is, we're a lot more powerful than, uh, than, we, than, than, we, than we think. I heard from the, the Rosh, Rabbi, uh, Rabbi Shachat, in LA, um, this also I mentioned that his understanding of some of the secrets of the Rebbe are, are so what does it mean we finished the Veda, etc. That whereas till now there might have actually been some challenges, there's some achiza of Klippa, that hold of Klippa is totally gone. And as soon as we realize that we have we have the power, we have the ability, as soon as we that, that, that we flip that switch. It will go a lot easier, and we'll be able to uh, accomplish amazing, amazing things. So it's just, so it's 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 all in the in the mind. Just just to keep on telling your your, your yourself. It's come on schwer to penetrate this nakuda of that the gula is here. Um, you know, the, the, and we just have to realize that it'll happen. And Deb says the answer to that is learning in gula. That has the amazing power, the kaya chateira, to 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 flip the switch and both on a you know spiritual level and also practically learning about it
I, I, I was just going to say that. I know uh, we, when we had the interview with uh, Rabbi Hamnik, that was his big, a big thing that he said was that you have to understand when, when the Rebbe is saying, Pasha, very simply, that, that we finished this time of Aveda of, um, of, uh, of uh, Maasin Vavedi Sein who calls Ma'amash mm-hmm. Chagolos, that when the Rebbe is saying that when Yemais Mashiach, when the Rebbe is saying that we have the Geula in our hands and all that stuff, the Rebbe is telling us that all the Menus Ve'ikuvim that you have in Golos, meaning the, the, the physical constraints, Pashat, you know, Bagash means you have a body and, and all these things, Nivet Hara and and you have Taivis and all these things, the Rebbe is saying that all those things are gone. I, I, I think I mentioned this already in, in, in a previous episode about the, the fleas. The, mush, the, 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 the There's a test that they did with the fleas. They put them in a jar and um, they closed the jar. And after three days, they came back. They opened the jar. They Not only that, but they removed the jar. And the fleas were just in that in the same exact same um, area space of the, the jar. Yeah, they never Correct. jumped they, higher than the cover. Because for three days, they tried, they tried, they tried. And, and it just, that's it. There's a cover, and that that's my those are my limitations. My limit I can't go out of it. Even though the, the jar is removed, they're still stuck in their limitations. And I think I think we're holding in a, in a place where the jar is removed. There's no limitations. All the limitations that are there are not set by ourselves, but we perceive them. We think that they're there, so therefore we don't go past this. We're not gonna push ourselves past this because we know that these are limitations. You know, we push <laughs> We have physical limitations. There are things that we just can't do because we're physical human beings. There are things that I can't do because I know that I have uh, these shortcomings. There's things that I can't do because I know that I have uh, a desire to do something else. So it's just going to be really hard and I just can't do it. But I think, I think, and, and this is a, a thing that I really, it re- really resonated with me when Rabbi Hamnik said this was that all those things are gone. You have to open your eyes. What does it mean open your eyes? Open your eyes. Recognize that, that the limitations are out, off. You're in. You're living in the geula. The geula is here. All you have to do is just tiftachat anayim. Open your eyes and recognize that there is nothing else. Everything else is just. So, uh, I'm 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 gonna throw a big question over here. I'll I'll see I'll I'll, I'll see where it goes. So based on all this, how come today in 2024? There's, there's so the people are having all sorts of issues that this therapist and this HD and D and D and C and B E F G, what is going on? If if you're saying there's no limitations, and so it's dafka today that you get the month get the you have to run to a therapist. I was having a conversation with 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 my wife, yeah, because I, I told her about this this podcast about the mirroring. She laughed at me. She says, 10, 10, 20 years ago, you know, I, I didn't have to understand how the brain works. You, you told the child, go, go, go to <laughs> sleep. And you go to sleep. You don't know. <laughs> In 2024, you have to understand. There's a, there's a this part of the brain and then the middle part of the brain. And you have to speak to the child and first get him in this part of the brain. And once you get him engaged, then you can have a conversation. What, what is going on? So, so it seems that... Yeah. It's, it's the opposite. I don't know if that's directly related to the topic of this podcast, but uh, for what it's worth, um, in my not professional experience, um, uh, the more you stelzich of a problem, this is relating also to the mind of the Rebbe I mentioned, the Rebbe did not in any way validate this man's taina. The Rebbe entirely ignored his complaint and showed him how he doesn't have any problems. And his problems are imagined. In the, in the this, wow. Today, it's very prevalent this idea of validating people's feelings and emotions. And yeah, yeah. on the whole, I think it's a terrible thing to do. And the more you discuss your problems, the more problems you're going to have. It's very, it's the most it's unhealthy thing you can do. The healthiest thing you can do is like the Rebbe's constant thing: has chadas. Don't think about it. Um, move on with your life. You, you'll be so much happier for it. And uh, that's, I think, the reason there's so much therapy is because everyone's going to therapy. Uh, <laughs> you're a lot better off, probably. Because they're making a big issue. There are sometimes uh, I can't talk for all all circumstances and all situations, but on the whole, the Rebbe spoke, for instance, about uh, meditation. And the Rebbe said meditation is not a good thing for people. It's it's not a healthy thing for a healthy person to do. People should be active. Not sitting contemplating, except for what Titus says. I think Chassidus, etc. Um, then the Rebbe's, is, but the Rebbe's is, point was that's generally speaking. But there are some people who are already sick, 
and the medicine and they're farhapt in this idea of meditation and for them the solution like any other medicine that's not healthy for a healthy good for a healthy person but for a sick person medicine is beneficial um and these people need to have meditation like and then i'm saying people are that's scared true. of it because of it is other but there are you who need help you need to make proper meditation things up with data that are not of it is other to help these people who need help and if they, i would say it's a similar thing with therapy there is a room for for a therapy a cognitive beha- behavioral therapy things that are more uh, there are different types of therapy and not my again not my field of expertise but uh for people who it's not necessary who are sick um mm-hmm. that's one thing no, sure but it's a very big idea today yeah. to impose therapy on everyone that the whole uh, yeah, everyone should wrong. be thinking the whole day about their feelings and all their negative thoughts and experiences and and everyone should understand their brain and this and that and oftentimes it's a lot healthier to, to not think about uh, any of those things and uh, just live your life <laughs> yes i mean just I mean, what you, you just said about that mamish there's no, there's no limitations or anything it's like wow so so i think i think in connection to that the fact that there's no limitations i think and this is something that that simcha just said what we're doing is we're 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 like part part of the limitations being yourself is that you're elevating it you are making your own limitations you are adding to the limitations you are growing your limitation by by um focusing on your problems and focusing correct as you get prosperous as countries grow prosperous the the issues that that regular human beings used to have of not having a shower and 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 having to work really really hard for food and the cold and 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 all these physical problems that were out of yourself you never had time to think of problems that you have in, in, inside yourself but as we as we removed more of those physical problems we have we're, we have more time to think about our own problems to think about what what's going on in here and i think that's part of part of this dichotomy this fact of 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 the removal of your limitations is that now being that it's all in your head we're we we are so stuck in we have to have limitations that we build up limitations ad gates that we've had we have limitations now that never existed in the in the history of the world human beings never had these limitations before but now because we're so sakhapt we have to have limitations so we make up limitations it, again it could be that without the add without the diagnoses we would have no problems it could be that without uh, going uh, but because we're so and i think this is what the Rebbe was trying to break this try, the Rebbe was trying to break this by 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 khafkhasness and by trying to like get us to like really really care about the fact that we have we have to get out of the gullus we have to remove ourselves from it and i think i think this is part of of kabbalah and mashiach of kenu being makabel uh mashiach yeah, as your like king that. is that he has to rem- he he's going to remove you and and that's what the Rebbe was doing. His sikhs were trying to get us out. The, the learning in Yonagol Mashiach, right? Like we said, that Torah is the best way. Torah is a Torah is the Derech Ishara to switch to have the paradigm shift. When you recognize as everything that you, all the limitations that you have right now are your own limitations, the limitations that you're putting on yourself, that'll that'll make it easier to remove them, so to speak. You know, uh, knowing knowing that the sickness is half of a Yedias HaMaka is Chatzir Refua. Machla, thank you. And uh, mm. parenthetically, probably uh, everyone being on their phones and having an attention is contributing to everyone being anxious and having two-second attention spans, and certainly social media, uh, but that's uh, that's parent, uh, parenthetic. <laughs> and, why, and listening but, to things yeah, sometimes, like, too, like and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But... Uh, it, it might might sound silly, but I I turn off the not- notifications on my phone. That's it, simply. So I don't hear dings and things. I I look up. I don't know whatever. Every, every few minutes, I take a look. Okay, this is here. This is here. I don't have to answer right, right away, and and I move on. I uh, I got a release time every Wednesday, so today is uh, recording this on a Wednesday. So today I was in uh I was a release time in in Queens. I'm in the pub, uh, so I bring the kids to a sh- the public school kids to a shul, and one of the kids tells me, and then afterwards I told the tell the whole class, tell everyone else that before Shabbos, before they light candles, 
the father takes all the iPads and all the devices, all the stuff. He put it in the closet. He locks the closet. <laughs> puts away the key. Wow. Chavez, a public school kids. It's Chavez now. Wow. And, um, yeah. The, the, that, that, the that, was, that was really beautiful. Man. Looking to wow. see Gaula in the world. You know, there, there you have it. Wow. So let's let's, let's let's summarize what we what we have till now. We have um, we have that we shouldn't we shouldn't be uh, we should get rid of the labels. We should be ba'achdos, and everyone should yeah. care about Mashiach and then then and the world shouldn't be just all chedim and not just uh, chabad, but um, all yidden. And we have to open our eyes and realize that we do not have any um, at, of these inhibitions that think are stopping us. We have the power and ability. To actually go greet Mashiach, <clears throat> and uh, one of the biggest, uh, most important ways to do that is in our own lives of Machshav Yehudah actually doing what we can, and uh, through learning about the Nyan Mashiach Gula, which is important in and of itself, and will help us implement all of this. Yeah, and then uh, another Nikud about l- listening to a to a fellow ch- Chassid. To listen, right? Oh, I would say you to, uh, yeah. yeah. I I I have this dream to take and and I think it's I saw somewhere where actually it, it did happen where they actually put by by a by a table you know the the the, the expression the come come in some tish they literally they took uh they took uh, I think it was Gedali Shemtiv and Mendel Handel and a few few other guys wow. the sat down and they 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 talked. I don't know how many times that happened, but it it has to happen more. Hundred percent. I have a dream to bring all the all the, all the big heads of of Lubavitch and push it, sit them down, just l- listen out, non non threatening, and put put your head geisha man aside. Let let's let let's just have a, have a conversation. Yeah, yeah. This uh, if they want to come I, on this podcast, uh, we'll we'll be open to, yeah. to opening up the open platform. For everyone wants to talk about this shit. <laughs> Correct. Whoever wants to come on, if you it, and if anybody that is listening now and wants to to um, suggest sh- someone, I'll put the the email on on the screen over here. And I think I think um, I think it's important not only to to listen to conversations, but to have conversations as well. To formulate your own opinions by learning the sikhs, learning the in Yonigol Mashiach in general, like the Rebbe says in Terich Shabbos and Terich Shabbos and. Um, it should it should permeate our machshava, our dibur amaisa, and um, I think like 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 we said that we have to have shavas achim gam yachad. We have to listen to each other and um, respect each other. Yeah, because ultimately we we all want the same thing. We everybody wants to see the rabbi. Everybody finally wants wants one want, wants to see Mashiach come. Everybody wants to give the rabbi nachas ruach. Everybody wants wants to do much time. So there's 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 really no. Uh, yeah, you think it'd be it's an easy thing to sell Mashiach. It's very, it's very good. Mashiach's very good. You know, it's very. Uh, that, that's right. Want it? You don't need it. You won't be any problems. Nothing. You know what it means? You have zero zero problems in your life. I don't understand this has hesitation to to Mashiach. There's another point that it's pushed my Sutton. It's it's that that's all. That's because <laughs> imagine you live in a life you don't have any problems. Garnish. You don't have to worry about the bank. You don't have to worry about your your, your kids halim. You don't have to worry about your kids fighting. You don't have to worry about health. <laughs> like all these all these go. ads and billboards that, that you see, either from a lawyer, or I'll I'll bail you out from all these things, or you see a billboard for for a dentist. I'll Mashiach is this all-inclusive thing, and yet we're like we're we're sitting back, we're trying to figure out. Oh well, Gimotam has happened, and okay, well there's we we toned down from Mashiach. It's it's Mamish. That was what uh, Miriam Feldman was talking about. That before she was from, she was trying to save the whales or something like that. That was she was she was into things like that, and then yeah, she hears wait, there's this thing Mashiach that that fixes the whole world, you know. It, the guys the world, not not just I'm, whale. I'm all in. <laughs> that that's great. It's important, yes. and I think everybody wants Mashiach now. We want Mashiach now, and Chaim um... Libracha.
Ay, 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 ay,